presentation about Catapaxi toolkit, toolkit for testing IoT devices. At the beginning, short introduction about myself. Uh, my name is Jakub Botvich. Currently, I work in Samsung R&D Center in Poland, where I lead a small team of security pen testers. In recent three years, I have reported more than 30 CVEs to different open source component, components, mostly IoT libraries. In my free time, I climb and trek in the mountains, especially I love active volcanoes, which inspired the name of the toolkit. I would like to acknowledge also other contributors who added new features or performed quality reviews of the tool. They are listed on the slide. Uh, what was the idea for Cotopaxi? One thing is that overall security level of IoT devices is still very low, so there is a lot of testing to do. Another topic is that there are new protocols used mainly in IoT devices like Co-op, DTLS or MQTT, and most of these uh, new protocols are not supported by security testing tools. Uh, if you look at the slide, you will see the landscape of security tools for IoT devices when we started preparing Cotopaxi back in 2017. Uh, there were lots of gaps and the major tool Shodan uh, search engine could be used only for public devices. Currently the situation changed a little bit uh, for better with the new tools uh, that appeared uh, during last years. Uh, but still, when you have a look at specific protocols, there are still multiple gaps to fill. Uh, for example, when you run Nmap scan on a device using COP protocol on non-standard port, uh, you will receive a lot of unknown protocols uh, or wild guesses based uh, only on port numbers. Uh, similarly, in Wireshark, it supports uh, most of new protocols, but only on standard ports. Uh, on the slide, you can see example of uh, uh, co-op traffic uh, that was uh, shown as uh, unknown UDP protocol. Uh, only after manual change using decode as function, you will receive decoded co-op packets. Uh, so when in 2017 our team performed a large-scale assessment uh, of multiple IoT components, we got ideas for new tools, a large corpus with malformed packets, and a pack of new vulnerabilities. Uh, all of that was used as a foundation for Cotopaxi. Uh, the most important information about Cotopaxi, it was released to public as an open source uh, project under GPL. Uh, tool license. It is available in the uh, public GitHub repository in the Samsung organization. Currently, this is the fourth release uh, of the tool with new features and vulnerabilities. Uh, when it comes to this strange name, Cotopaxi is an active volcano in Ecuador and it's quite interesting target for climbing. Uh, Cotopaxi can be used uh, by different security personnel. Uh, if you're a pen tester, you can use it when you're performing black box assessment uh, of uh, large environments uh, like uh, smart home, smart factory or smart city. Uh, if you're a security researcher, you can analyze network traffic of tested device, uh, identify known vulnerabilities or uh, check for uh, OEM uh, devices. Uh, and finally, if you're a developer or vendor, you can fuzz your devices and check whether they can be used in uh, distributed denial of service attacks. Uh, currently, there are 10 tools uh, in the toolkit and they support different phases of penetration testing. Uh, starting from uh, the reconnaissance uh, phase, uh, there is a service ping that checks availability of endpoints for specific protocols. Uh, the next one is security scanner that allows to verify security properties uh, like cryptography, certificates and so on. Uh, Dearbuster for uh, resource uh, listing uh, in various protocols. Uh, software finger painter that classifies uh, software components used by the server. Uh, and the new tool for device identification that passively analyzes traffic and classify devices uh, using uh, machine learning. Uh, in the pre-exploitation phase, there are uh, amplification sniffer for detecting uh, traffic amplifiers, uh, protocol fuzzer in two versions uh, for uh, testing uh, clients and servers, uh, and known vulnerability tester also in two versions.
Cotopaxi, Cotopaxi currently support 10 protocols. Three of them uh, were added in this version. Uh, these are advanced uh, message queuing protocol, uh, AMQP, uh, MQTT for sensor networks, uh, and uh, the quick uh, protocol. I will short, shortly tell about uh, two of them. Uh, Quick uh, is the new top protocol designed by Google and widely used uh, in their uh, applications and IoT devices. Uh, it is mainly like uh, TCP and TLS in one, with support for multiple streams and uh, low latency and connection uh, uh, setup. Uh, and it's also UDP based. Uh, the second of new protocols is MQTTSN. This is an uh, UDP clone of the most popular uh, IoT protocol MQTT. Uh, it was designed for uh, sensor networks, uh, what is quite popular in IoT world. Uh, okay, mm, first and basic tool uh, in the uh, Cotopaxi toolkit uh, is uh, Service Pink. Uh, it's used by all other tools. Uh, to check whether there's an active uh, server of protocol at a specific address and port. Uh, it uses uh, a set of payloads for each protocol to test uh, endpoints. Uh, and this is an extension of usual port scan using NMAP. <coughs> uh, the next tool is Service uh, Finger Pinter. This is an equivalent to NMAP uh, service and application version detection. Uh, however, NMAP works only using uh, server responses comparison for a list of inputs, while Cotopaxi uses uh, machine learning classifier uh, based on the number of uh, requests and responses. Uh, the next tool is used for device identification. This is a new feature in this version. Uh, it is based on two large corpuses of IoT traffic provided by authors of papers uh, listed on the slide. Uh, after recording sample of track, uh, traffic, uh, we can classify all devices that were um, communicating, communicating. Uh, but uh, you need to make sure that uh, you have captured all of packets going in and out of uh, device uh, so that the classification results were accurate. Uh, the next tool performs uh, resource listing and it's similar to popular Dearbuster but works for a wider range of protocols like uh, co-op, multicast DNS, SSDP, RTSP. Uh, you need to provide a list of resource uh, names and Cotopaxi will check each of them uh, on the server. Uh, there are some predefined uh, lists for each protocol available in the uh, list subdi subdirectory. Uh, next feature is a protocol fuzzer. Uh, it is using uh, corpus of malformed packets prepared uh, using American Fuzzy Lab uh, fuzzer. Uh, and it checks whether device crashed after receiving packet or what was the uh, time of packet processing. Uh, usually packets processed longer uh, are more interesting uh, for further analysis and mutations and can be used for next steps uh, of fuzzing. Uh, the next tool is Vulnerability Tester. We have uh, five classes of vulnerabilities, information disclosures, crashes, traffic amplifications, memory leaks and uh, remote code execution. Uh, in this uh, version we have 10 new vulnerabilities uh, that were added to the database uh, and in total 34 uh, issues. Uh, here we can see a sample of vulnerabilities found uh, by us and um, uh, that can be identified by Cotopaxi. For example, we have uh, here a malformed DNS packet that, that caused uh, infinite loop in tiny SVC MDNS server, uh, or a single packet that induces uh, six packets uh, in response from the server, which can be used for distributed denial of service attacks. Uh, and the last but not least uh, tool in our toolkit is uh, the amplification sniffer that dumps uh, all packets and analyze input and output uh, of the server, calculate the amplification uh, factor for tested device. Uh, short information how IoT devices can be used to perform uh, distributed denials of service attacks. Uh, it is possible after identifying a large number of vulnerabilities uh, devices uh, that attacker sends uh, 
packets with spoofed uh, source addresses and device sent responses to victim uh, causing traffic overload. Uh, it's possible easily in UDP based protocols where there is no handshake at the beginning of communications. Uh, so UDP based protocols like co-op or DTLS can be used for such attacks. Uh, so finally, before uh, we start the demo, uh, short information what you can do to start with Cotopaxi. Uh, first, uh, download the tool from the repository, uh, read the manual and install it. Uh, of course, use it and hack uh, uh, different devices, but only when you have a consent of the owner on, or you are the owner. Uh, if you find any errors uh, in the toolkit, please support it uh, using GitHub uh, issues. Uh, using the same way, you can contribute uh, new vulnerabilities or new code. Uh, so we can now start uh, using Cotopaxi with uh, the first tool named uh, Service Ping. Uh, as for all the tools in the toolkit, uh, you can use minus H to receive uh, help uh, and you can see that for this uh, tool you need to provide the destination address in the first uh, form of uh, hostname, single IP address or multiple addresses um, by a list uh, separated uh, by a comma uh, or uh, by a mask. Uh, similarly for port uh, you can use single port uh, multiple ports uh, with a range or uh, with a list uh, with a comma. Uh, we have uh, um, a test environment here uh, with multiple devices. And to test. For example, in port uh, 3000, we have one of the available uh, servers. Uh, if you see on the right side, uh, when you try to use uh, Nmap, you will receive information that there is some unknown uh, service on the port. Uh, however, when you use uh, Cotopaxi, you will receive information that uh, the um, server here is uh, MQTT. Uh, similarly for uh, UDP based uh, uh, ports you can also check them with the ping and we received information that the server here uh, is uh, co-op. And the next tool I would like to show you is the server finger printer. Um, again, we need to provide the IP address and the port and uh, the protocol. And after executing this, uh, we can see that um, the server was uh, alive uh, before and after the test. And it was identified uh, as using IO co op. Uh, if we get the verbose. Uh, we will see um, all the packets that were sent and uh, the vector of uh, attributes that was used for uh, classification and finally uh, the result. Uh, okay, we can uh, also uh, check the uh, resource um, uh, listener. Uh, again, uh, we need to provide the IP address port and uh, for this tool we need to provide also a list of the uh, resources that we will be uh, looking uh, at the server uh, and uh, for Cotopaxi there are uh, li uh, multiple lists for each uh, of the protocol uh, they are provided in the uh, folder Cotopaxi lists. Uh, you can 
uh, see uh, here the results for uh, the following um, endpoints uh, were found advanced, advanced, separated, basic, big, and, and so on. And during uh, the, uh, the testing, uh, the tool also uh, provided uh, ampl uh, calculated amplification factor for each uh, of the URLs. Uh, and you can see that for some of the URLs that the amplification factors are uh, quite big. So um, this tool, uh, this uh, endpoint uh, can be used uh, for uh, um, uh, traffic amplification attacks. Uh, in the next test, we will use the setup with uh, IoT light bulb connected uh, with the smartphone uh, hub. Uh, as you can see, the light bulb is uh, continuously um, steered to change the uh, color uh, and uh, the hub is, uh, is still available using the standard pin. Okay, so we will now uh, pin the, uh, it using Cotopaxi. We see that it responds to DTLS uh, protocol. So we can now start uh, fuzzing uh, using uh, the protocol fuzzer. So we are using um, the same IP uh, port uh, and uh, the switch for DTLS protocol. Uh, uh, what happened uh, here is uh, the Cotopaxi uh, started um, fuzzing, sent the first packet, the packet was responded, uh, but uh, with the next uh, packet uh, the hub crashed, uh, so Cotopaxi uh, is waiting uh, for the hub to reload. And after this, it uh, will continue fuzzing with the next payloads. Uh, you can see uh, the lights uh, on the hub. They are showing the current status uh, of the hub. Uh, when the light uh, gets uh, dark, uh, the, the hub uh, is going down. So after each uh, crash, uh, Cotopaxi waits uh, 60 seconds. And you can see that again, uh, the next packet uh, caused again a crash. And during the crash, the um, light bulb uh, does not change uh, the color. Uh, the corpus is quite big. Uh, for DTLS uh, protocol. Um, so the, the whole test uh, could take a really uh, long time, but we can uh, stop it and we will receive information uh, that Cotopaxi uh, found uh, two payloads that caused crash and these are the files uh, that, uh, that are crashing. Uh, we can also use um, <clears throat> vulnerability tester because already we already have um, the payloads uh, in the database. Okay, so now we see that uh, the uh, hub is running. We can check it with ping. Again, we will see that it responds to the TLS. And we can now crash it. You can see that uh, the lights uh, went uh, dark and the server 
and the Cotopaxi uh, checked that uh, this uh, device is vulnerable to, to this uh, attack. Yes, and the uh, hub is uh, back again. And now I will show you how to use amplifier detector to check uh, which services can be used to uh, perform distributed denial of service uh, attacks. Uh, we have here a Wireshark that will show us the whole traffic. Uh, in this window we will run the amplifier detector. Uh, you can see uh, the syntax is as follows that you need to provide uh, IP address of the host that will be uh, monitored. Uh, and now we will uh, first perform a service ping to identify whether the uh, server is uh, really responding. Okay, you can now see the first traffic going in and out. Uh, currently the amplification factor is very low, but when we uh, start to uh, perform a resource listing uh, to the same uh, IP address on the port. Uh, we will see some larger responses uh, where uh, the co-op uh, server will provide uh, some uh, larger um, data. Okay, and now you have, uh, you, you will see the highest uh, amplification uh, factor was uh, 2048 and it was provided using the following uh, request uh, and uh, response. And when we stop uh, the amplification detector, uh, we will receive again uh, the same uh, pack packet that was the, the highest uh, amplification factor. Uh, also, the resource uh, locator uh, provides us also uh, with uh, information about amplification factor for each uh, of um, uh, of the provided uh, requests and uh, responses. Uh, I have already shown you how to use the standard versions of Protocol Fuzzer and Vulnerability Tester. Now we used client versions. Okay, so here we have uh, uh, implementation of co-op uh, client and here is the Cotopaxi client uh, Protocol Fuzzer. Uh, we will start it. Uh, it will be uh, listening as a server on port uh, 10,000. And now we can uh, start the client. And as you can see, um, client initiated uh, traffic sent uh, request uh, to the server and server responded uh, with the payload, uh, as you can see. Uh, here uh, in Wireshark. Uh, when we start initiate uh, next transmission we will uh, receive uh, next payloads. We can stop it at any time and see how many payloads uh, were sent. Similarly works the vulnerability tester. Uh, it also uh, listen to uh, at uh, a particular port and when we start a client we will receive uh, information which payload were sent and we can see uh, what happened on a client site. Uh, and finally after sending uh, all payloads uh, for this protocol we receive uh, information and a summary. Uh, similarly to the server version, 
we can always see uh, a list of uh, all issues uh, that uh, can be that can be tested uh, using uh, this uh, tool. Uh, the next tool I would like to show you is device identification, which is a new feature in this version. Uh, to use it, you need to, to provide a pickup file uh, with uh, recorded uh, traffic for the uh, host you would like to test. Uh, you can see here uh, we have uh, example uh, dump uh, open in, in Wireshark. Um, we can load just uh, the whole file uh, without uh, showing the IP address and then the tool will try to classify uh, every uh, IP address that uh, is included uh, in this dump and here you see the results for uh, every IP uh, if uh, uh, if there is no uh, one distinct uh, class, uh, you will see uh, the whole uh, similar classes uh, with the uh, percentage uh, probability. Uh, for a larger uh, dumps, uh, it is possible uh, to stop uh, loading uh, at any moment uh, and the whole um, packets that were already loaded uh, will be uh, processed afterwards. Okay, now we can uh, click Ctrl C uh, to break loading and you can see um, the classification results. And finally we can uh, just uh, select uh, one um, IP address, one device uh, to be classified uh, using option minus I. And uh, in this case after loading uh, packets we can see uh, only results of classification for this uh, one selected uh, device. Uh, currently device identification tool supports uh, around 55 uh, devices. Uh, if you uh, have any other uh, device that is uh, not supported uh, yet, uh, please uh, send us uh, a pickup uh, file. Uh, with the dump uh, of the traffic network and we will uh, add it to the next version of Cotopaxi uh, and of course uh, if you see that uh, any device was uh, incorrectly uh, classified um, also please send us uh, your dump uh, and uh, we will uh, fix it. Uh, thank you for watching uh, presentation and demo. If you have any questions, please ask them uh, using uh, DEFCON chat. Thank you.